Greetings, Onion Man here, and as per request, I will make a tutorial on how to merge plugins for Fallout 3 slash Fallout New Vegas slash Skyrim slash Fallout 4. This tool is compatible with all of the above. As always, the link will be in the description. You're going to head on over to the Nexus. Please ensure you have an account to download this file, and it's called Merge Plugins. You can see he has a nice graphic here. Click on Files and then you're going to click manual download. I have already downloaded the file. You're going to go on over to your downloads directory and you'll see these. This is a file you retrieve. It's a compressed folder, zip file, and then just unzip it and you'll get this. So once you have unzipped it, you do not need the zipped file anymore. You can remove that. Head on over to this and you'll see a bunch of files you're going to double click on merge plugins.exe. My antivirus had a hissy fit and I had to manage this as an exception. Keep in mind that this is an application, so some antiviruses may flag it as harmful where it is not harmful. Please double click it, and then it'll look here at whichever games you have installed. So for this, for this case, I only have New Vegas installed. So I'll select it there, click on the icon, and then click OK. You can close this file now. You don't need it anymore. And now it'll go over all the plugins that you have enabled in your mod manager. So for example, this is an ILO merge that I made earlier. Anyway, so let's, you can enable that if you would like to. So for this case, I'm, I'll leave it checked. Hit OK once you have the plugins that you'd wish and it will now load all the plugins keep in mind that this phase usually takes quite a while see it's going through all the ESPs and the ESMs ESM is a master, ESP is a plugin Elder Scrolls master, Elder Scrolls plugin although this isn't Elder Scrolls Bethesda uses the same naming convention and to get these nice little graphics you're going to have to choose the scanning button so you see submit replies build merges find errors. You're going to click on find errors. This takes about five to ten minutes depending on how many mods you have. So once you've done find errors, it'll go through all your plugins and it'll highlight ones that are green, ones that are red, and things that are masters. You can't black, it's blacklisted obviously, you can't load, a, can't build a master with a merge. It doesn't work. This is for plugins. So anything with an ESM, maybe not a good idea to merge that. Anyway, some mods are more script heavy than others. So you see lots of Project Nevada stuff here. If you want to, you can add these to a merge, although there are errors in this version. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for large mods. Generally speaking, it doesn't promote stability. You can also see I have New Vegas bounties here. I attempted to make a merge with this earlier, but I had some issues with it. So try and stick with mods that aren't too demanding. So for example, I have several things here. And let's say I want, see, I made an ILO merge, create a new merge. So in this case, I'll just call it test. Merge. You can copy this. And you can name the ESP whatever you would like. So in this case, test merge at ESP. It'll show up as red because it has zero files added to it. And now you're gonna go through here and you're gonna find which files or which, which plugins I should say you want to add to it. So if I want to make this out of utility files, I'll say I want two perks per level in it because it's a utility mod. I want fast sleep because that's a utility mod. I want five level special because that is a utility mod. And generally speaking, I'm just doing this to combine my uh, utility mods because we just take plugins here and there and the less plugins you have, generally speaking, the better your game will run. So you see here, I am just adding various small mods. You can add large ones, but 
do a join risk. So rebel pile fix. So yeah, let's say I want to do um, uh, continue after game ending also. Test merge. And that's just a merge patch to get everything working together. You may want to remake a merge patch after doing this. And let's say I just want to add... Now I think, I think it's good. So you can see here I have various files added to it. And you can see it's orange. And that's because there's a conflict here. So you can make this emerge, but it may not turn out very well. You want to have this as a green. So for example, let's say I just remove continue after game ending because that's a script heavy one from merge. So the less files you have in here, the less dependent the files are on the merge, the easier it is to run the merge. So I have my utility mods in here. For some reason I can't make it green, probably because the mods are from different masters. I'm not exactly sure. Keep in mind which mods are part of which merge. For example, once I build the merge, you want to disable these in your mod manager because now they're all added together in one file. So let's say, look on here, and build merge. No, it won't let me build the merge because there's errors. So here, just for the sake of this, let's say I just remove whatever is causing this. So let's say I remove this from the merge. And I'm just checking to see which files are causing the error. This is something that's annoying and painstaking, but alas, you have to do this. Generally speaking, this is all trial and error. So see, I made it happy. It's so happy now. It was two perks per level that gave it a hissy fit. So now you can try and add more files to the merge like this and see it's having a hissy fit again it's not happy and I remove that and now it's happy again you want to make it green so just as a last attempt I'll see if I can add for example this to the merge yep it's unhappy so you want to make sure it stays green it's a good merge otherwise it'll have some er issues so now that it's green and it's satisfied with being annoying Click build merge, it'll say all done, build the merge for you. Click close, and it's the same sort of story as a FNV edit, where there isn't necessarily a save button here, you just have to click close. And now that it's closed, you can navigate to your downloads directory, merges, and then you're going to find whichever ones you have. So this is a attempt earlier. So if you can still test merge, you're going to have this, test merge ESP. So copy or cut it, doesn't matter which, and navigate to wherever your game is installed. So in this case, D drive, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, go on down to Fallout New Vegas, data file, and paste. And now test merge is there. You can close that, and just for the sake of remembering, I'm going to open the merging tool one last time just so I can see which files were in the merge. So now it's just going to go through this again and I'm just doing this for the sake of remembering. I want to see which files were in that merge. Now it's loading plugin information. There we go. Test merge is comprised of five level special and fast sleep. Open your mod manager. Here's test merge. So remove those because they're already enabled. And then I'll move it there. Test merge. And you can check if your merge patch is still compatible. If it's having issues, it'll be orange. 
If it's completely incompatible, it'll be red like these. These are missing master files, as you can see here. And once that is done, your game will now have a merged plugin in it, which will save on plugin space and will make the game run better due to less plugins. You can now launch your game, for example, through there. You'll be fine. Thank you.